Hi everybody, welcome to Core 30. My name is Allie and this is Kelly and we are about to guide you through a 30 minute core workout. We'll be working the front, the sides, and the back along with some of these yummy big muscles in our trunk. All right, we're gonna be moving from standing to down on the mat. We'll be on our fronts, we'll be on our backs. You may notice that Kelly and I don't always do the exact same thing. That is because we are trying to show you different modifications. So we want you to work through these progressions and listen to your body. If it feels good, keep moving forward. If it doesn't feel right, go back and go back to the base movement because as long as you're doing the base movement, you're gonna get an awesome and effective workout, okay? We encourage you to drink water during this class. So drink before, during, after, just keep drinking. Take sips as we transition from one progression to the next, okay? Make sure you have a towel, your water close by. I'm actually gonna move mine a little closer. I want you guys to start with your legs apart, soft knees, chin and chest lifted, and you're just gonna roll your shoulders back, right, left, all the way around. Excellent, now make that a big circle, slow it down and switch, do it again, and switch. Now we're gonna twist side to side. So this is a torso twist with the upper body. You can do this at your own pace. You do not have to stay on the beat of the music. Just all the way around, side to side. Excellent, take a deep breath in. Exhale when you're ready. Good job, now soften your knees. We're gonna reach forward and back. So it's front and back, front and back. Close and open. Four more. Four, three, two. Now lengthen your spine and come down slow. Hips are gonna go back. And then roll all the way up, one vertebrae at a time. Do that again, lengthen your spine, come down. Nice job, and then roll it all the way up. Good, good, good. Now we're gonna take that right knee, make a circle, and then squat, left side. Circle around and squat, down. Right side, circle, deep squat, hinge at those hips, left side, circle. Give me those shoulder rolls again for four. And a big circle back on the right and the left. Reach forward and back, forward, slow it down. And up and down, all the way up. All the way down, excellent. And now you can join us on your mat. We're gonna begin today in a supine position, which means lying on our backs. All right, so you can come to the edge of your mat, have a seat, and to safely get down on the floor, we're gonna hold on to the back of our legs. Hold on, slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time until you are lying down, looking up at the ceiling. Okay, so from here, we're gonna bring our fingertips slightly behind the ears. I want you to be mindful of the natural curves in your spine. So behind your neck and your lower back, feet are flat, and take your legs a little bit wider. Okay, so rather than straight over, straight up, you're going to come with your legs nice and wide. Fingertips lightly behind the ears, and you're gonna lift with your chest up toward the ceiling, hold it up in this crunch position and then come down. So I want you to be mindful of lifting up with your chest and keeping your elbows relaxed. So we're gonna come up and down. This is a single crunch. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Now, if you want to go slower than the music, you absolutely can. Just a crunch, up and down. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Good job, pulse it up. Little tiny pulse right here. Chin and chest lifted, so we're relaxing those elbows, right? We're leading up with the chest. Four more. Now, we're gonna come toward the right knee. So you're gonna bring your elbow toward your knee and then down, do it again. Just the right side and down. So now we are twisting that elbow toward the knee. I have another option for you. You can extend your leg out, diagonal. So it's knee in, extend, in, and extend. Another option is to bring your elbow in and then extend your arm out, kind of like half of an X, all the way out. So we're gonna squeeze together in the middle, stretch out diagonal. Squeeze in the middle, 
stretch out diagonal. Two more. And then we're going to switch to the left side, doing the same thing, but starting with just the bent knee. All right, so the knee comes up and down. Remember, your legs are wide. Lift and lower. Good job. So we're starting with just that bent knee. And remember, you can stay here, and you can always come back to this. If you want, you have the option to extend your leg out. Think about stretching out all the way. You can also take that arm and make a beautiful diagonal. All the way in and all the way out. So we crunch and stretch. Crunch and stretch. Good. In and out. In, now switch back to the right side. We're gonna go in and out. Good, in and down. And then switch to your left side. So it's in and out. And then in and down. Now remember, you don't have to do the out part. So you could do two knees. Two, one more, your choice. In and down, very good. In, out, in and down. Nice job, okay. Are you ready? Your next option is to bring both knees up and both elbows up. So we're gonna come up, crunch your knees to your elbows, and then come down. So it's kind of like you're turning your body into a C. Scoop it up and down. Both knees come in. In and down. And down, good job. In and down. Okay, you're gonna keep going with that. And this is where it gets real fun. If you want, you can start to make this an extension. So we can crunch in, extend out into an X. Crunch in, X out. Crunch, X. Crunch, X. Crunch, X. The lower your legs go, the more you're gonna feel it, okay? And I encourage you to work through this movement at your own pace. So you can go slower than the music. You probably don't wanna go faster than the music because it's fast enough. But <laughs> if, you're not, if you're off the beat of the music, it's totally okay. All right, so remember you can do just the knees, you can do the X, you can even do the X with one leg at a time. That's another option. Squeeze and X. Give me four more in and out. How are we doing, team? In and out. Are we good? In, I'm grabbing some water. And out. One more time. In and out. How's that feel? I have a feeling you're all going to be angry. Angry with me tomorrow. In a good way. Hopefully. I'm leading by example. Grab some water to stay hydrated, okay? All right. We're gonna change it up. We're moving into a um, leg raise exercise. So you're gonna come down, grab the back of your legs if you came up for a sip of water. We're gonna come back down to the mat where we began. This time we're gonna extend both legs out. Take your arms up, turn your palms out, and bring your arms about 45 degrees away from your body, okay? So you may feel like you wanna put your hands underneath your hips because it's gonna help you, we wanna try to avoid that, okay? So what I want you to do is start with just your right leg and we're slowly gonna raise it all the way up and all the way down. And you can do this at your own pace, just the right leg. Lift it up to the ceiling and down to the floor. Up to the ceiling and down to the floor. So it's just a leg raise up and down. Now. Going higher isn't necessarily harder. Staying lower, like 45 degrees, is a little bit harder because of the gravitational pull. It's more intense, right? Lift and lower, four more. Up and down. I encourage you to breathe. <laughs> so exhale when you lift your leg up. That's the hard part, right? So we're always gonna try to exhale on the hard part. Switch legs, so we're gonna come up slow and then down slow. So you're taking these at your own pace. Up slow, lift. I, I'm starting with full range of motion and then I'm making it a little bit smaller, a little bit faster. So up for two and down for two. Lift, 
So I'm trying to keep my leg from touching the floor when I come down. If you need to take a break at any time, of course that is okay. Lift and lower, up. Just do the best you can. I want you to be proud of what you're able to do today. Okay, don't worry about what you don't get to. Be proud of what you can do. Lift and lower, up. I think maybe one more, it's probably even. Up and down, okay. Okay, so now we're gonna move into some leg circles. So you're gonna lift both legs up. And your legs, your feet can be flexed. They can be pointed. I'm gonna hang kind of in the middle. So I'm not really flexing or pointing as of yet. All right, bring the arms out. Remember, we're keeping those arms down. So what I want you to do is draw a circle with both feet together to your right. So both feet are gonna go around to the right and then lift back up, okay? Same thing on the left. So we're gonna use both legs all the way around and lift back up. Now one hip may come off the floor and that's okay. All the way around, make that as big as you can and then lift it up. Good job, reverse. So big circle all the way around and then lift it up. Now each time you do this, I challenge you to make it just a little bit bigger. Even if it's such a small change that you can't even see it, but you can feel it. All the way around and all the way up. Okay, now we're gonna take both legs together and we're gonna draw a big circle. So legs are gonna straddle out and then come up. All right, try that again. Straddle out and then come up. Let's do that one more time. Straddle out and then come up. Now we're gonna go backwards. Both legs down and all the way up. Good job, two more. Circle and all the way up. Last one. All right, both legs to the right. Circle all the way around. And both legs to the left. Circle all the way around. Then both legs out. And reverse. Excellent, bring those legs in. Did you have to think really hard? <laughs> good job, good job, all right. Stay right there, let me check and see what's next. Oh yeah. All right guys, we're moving on to plank. So this is going to be in a prone position, which is the exact opposite of what we just did. So you're gonna come down, and I am going to give you, we are going to give you several different options for plank. What's important to know is all of them are awesome. They're all good. So I don't want you to stress about going through the entire progression. If you're feeling like you wanna move forward, go for it. If you're feeling like where you're at is enough, of, enough work for you today, I encourage you to stay right there and try to hold it as long as you can. Okay, so we're gonna come down to start on our elbows. And this is going to be a supported plank. So we're gonna keep our knees on the floor and our toes on the floor, but your torso is up off the mat, up off the floor. So right now, I want you to imagine a straight line from the crown of the center of your head right down your spine to your tailbone. And we're gonna try to maintain that long line. This is a, not a good shirt to wear for this. Because you cannot see, it looks like I just have a sagging belly and you can't see the muscles. So we're holding it right here. <laughs> we're holding it right here. I don't know if you can see that, but what I want you to notice is that you're drawing in right here, okay? So belly or no belly, doesn't matter. You're drawing it in. So I want you to think about taking your navel and sticking it to your back from the inside. That's kind of creepy, but it, that's what I mean. So hold it right here. Now, another option in this position, this is supported plank. This is going to be a, a rest, but working rest. So Kelly will demonstrate a complete rest. Show them a complete. Complete rest is a slumber party. All right, we're not working any muscles, we're just looking adorable, but you're gonna come back up into plank. So if you need a rest rest, you can slumber party. If you can, this is gonna be your working rest. You can lift one leg, you can lift the other leg, you can lift both legs. 
All right, so this is where it starts to get real, right here. All right, so knees up, now you're like, oh my goodness, what was I thinking? Yeah, this is intense, guys. You know, plank works every muscle in our body, so it's a really good and effective exercise, and you don't have to hold it for a long time. Even a few seconds is very effective. Lots of benefits from that. Remember, this is our active rest, and if you really need to, you can slumber party. Okay, now, I've got some options for you from extended plank if you can get up. So extended plank is going to be long arms, kind of like a zombie, right? Long arms out in front, they're stiff, elbows are soft, and then come up on your toes. Now, you can always come down to that knee plank, that elbow plank, but you won't be able to do these next exercises from that position. So what we're gonna do is take one knee in and then extend it. Bring one knee in and extend it. Elbows are soft, knees come in and extend it. So if you've ever heard of a mountain climber, this is like the super slow-mo version of a mountain climber. Good job, bring it in, in, and now hold it. You can put your knee all the way down if you want to break. Absolutely. That is a rest. <laughs> yeah, that is a rest. But that's a good point, right? Because if you're feeling like you're fatigued in that long extended plank, you absolutely can put your knee down if you need to take a break. Next option is to bring the knees under to the opposite elbow. And I'm going to turn forward so that you can see this better. So we just did these, right? Bringing the knees in. Now you're gonna take your knee toward the opposite elbow. Knee toward the opposite elbow. Elbows are soft. And I also encourage you while you're doing these planks to try to hold your head up. Your head is heavy. It weighs like seven or eight pounds. You got a big old bean. It's heavy and it puts a lot of stress on your neck to hold it up, so do the best you can. All right, we've got one more position for those legs, and that is knee out to the side. So this is an oblique crunch and down. Now you can put your toe on the floor, or you can lift your knee up, or lift your foot up off the floor. Knees up, foot up off the floor. That's an oblique plank. Here it is, guys, standing up right here. This is all we're doing. But we're, it's not all we're doing. If we're being honest, we're in a plank. It's not all we're doing. We're doing a lot is what we're doing. Yes. Okay, so I want you to go through all three of those. I want you to bring your knees to the center once, both sides. Then bring your knees crisscross, both sides. And then bring your knees to the side, both sides. And then that's a wrap. So do one of each. And then we're going to move on. Moving on. All right. Side sit. Looks like this. You sit on your side. And then you come down on your elbow. So it's kind of like an elbow plank, but got real lazy. So we're just going to keep our hip on the floor, OK? I want you to bring your leg out to the side and your elbow up. So what we're going to do is a side sit crunch, which is going to work the obliques right here. So what we're going to do to start is we're going to bring the knee in to the elbow and then bring it out. So we're going to crunch in and out. Very nice. In and out. Good job. Now you can crunch it in and reach it up if you want to exaggerate the crunch. Check it out. You can also bring your elbow beyond your knee. I feel like that's something that should be in space. Infinity and beyond. <laughs> What movie? Toy Story. It's Toy Story. To infinity and beyond. To your knee and beyond. In and out. Very good. Now, can you lift it up and down? So we're crunching and lifting. It's a long lever, so it's a little bit more intense. If that's too much, you don't have to do it. Lift it up and down. We'll do four more. Squeeze and down. Very nice. Lift and lower. How are you guys? Up and down. You are awesome. Lift. And now just the knee, pulse it in right here. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. So it's a little crunch. Think about making that little curve right there. Squeeze it in. Awesome. Four more. Four, three, 
two, and one. Same thing on the other side. Now, you can flip over. I'm gonna turn around so I don't subject you to having to look at my back side. We're gonna hold it on this side. So we're starting in our side sit. Say that five times fast. Working on our, that would end badly. <laughs> Your side sit. All right, so, so, another S word. Lift your arm up, and we're gonna bring that knee in and out. So remember, you can start with your elbow behind the ear, kind of like a crunch. So we're gonna crunch it in. You're making that scoop, right? Scoop it out right there, and then extend. Scoop and extend. You want more? In and stretch. In and stretch. You want more? To the knee and beyond and out. Excellent. Squeeze and out. Excellent. So when I say squeeze, I'm referring to your obliques, right? I want you to think about these muscles contracting, squeezing in together and extending. Use your obliques. Squeeze. <laughs> They're also creepy fingers. Squeeze and out. Very nice. In and out. Good job. Now you can start to make this a long lever. Long arm, long leg, a little bit more intense. Lift. Does it feel more intense to you? Are you doing it? Did you try it? You're staying there? Yeah, can you feel the difference? Up and down, very nice. Four, extend for three. So good, keep breathing, right? Two, and down, one more. Lift. And down, now that little pulse right here. Crunch, 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 crunch. Oh, what was that? Hey, obliques. Three, two more. Two, and one. All right, this is going to be fun. We're going to roll over. Fun, you say? Yes, I did. You're going to come into a crouch position. We're moving on to our back. All right, so from this crouch position, we're gonna extend our legs so that they're long. Place your heels on the floor and pick your arms up. So this is hinged forward, long lever, and you're gonna lift it all the way up for two and then down your knees for two. This is called a deadlift and your knees are soft. Okay, knees are soft. Excellent, so we come up for two. Down for two, little bit of functional training right here. I want you to come down to the floor, bend your knees into your crouch position. And then push up, come halfway, and then deadlift. So we're gonna come up for two, down for two. Up for two, and crouch all the way down. Down to the floor, extend those legs, and then up for two, down for two, crouch. All the way down to the floor, Extend those legs, up for two, and down. Do it again, crouch, down, extend those legs, lift up, awesome, because sometimes you have to get down to the floor, and if you don't use it, guess what? You will lose it. All right, now we're gonna come down. Here's an option. When you come up, I wanna see if you can extend one foot back. So you're gonna come up, Extend one foot back like you're balancing, and then you're gonna come back down to that crunch position. Okay, same thing on the other foot. So we're gonna come up, tap back, put your arms out like an airplane for stability, and then come back down to that crunch position. Come up, tap back, and then come down. So we're actually gonna work our backs and our balance. Come up, tap back. Now your challenge is as you come up, see if you can get that foot off the floor and then come down. So we're working on balance. Try to find a stationary focal point and then come down, all the way down. Good job. As you come up, I want you to think about opening those airplane arms out a little bit wider. Squeezing your shoulder blades together is going to target your upper back. So we got lower back on the deadlift and now we're getting upper back with these broad arms out to the side. Try to balance. And down, very nice. How's your back? You feel it? Extend and down. Good job. And then come up, extend 
and down. Nice job. Come up, extend, and down. Squeeze those shoulder blades. We're gonna do one more on each side. Come up, extend, and down. And the last one. Come up, extend, and down. All right, lengthen your legs and stay right here. We're gonna hold a forward fold stretch. So on this stretch, we're reaching toward our toes. If you can't reach your toes, it's cool. You can come up and put your hands on your mid thighs if your lower back needs some support. Even though our legs are long, our knees are soft. You can probably see mine because I'm wearing sweat pants. Soft knees. If it feels good, you can reach down with one arm or both arms. We're gonna come back down to our crouch position. Good, and today we're gonna be stretching on the floor. So I want you to have a seat and extend your legs out in the front. Sit up nice and tall. You did it, we're almost done. We're at the stretching part of this program. <laughs> so what I'd like you to do here is sitting up nice and tall, beautiful posture. You're gonna take your hands, bring them to one side and twist your upper body, twist your torso. Well, hello, you did it. And we're so proud of you. Hold it right here. How far you go just depends on the flexibility in your spine. So if you feel good, you can walk those hands very small steps and start to twist a little bit further. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I apologize for being so rude and turning my back on you. Hold it right here. Sitting up as tall as you can, lift your head up and try to bring your shoulder as far as you can over to the other side. Good, then we're gonna come back to the center, sit up tall, arms reach up over your head and forward fold toward your legs, long spine, as long as you can and then ultimately rolling down toward those toes. Now where you are doesn't matter, it should feel good. Okay, stretching should always feel good. If it hurts, you're going too far, and I want you to listen to your body and just ease up a little bit, and then you should feel better. So in this position, we're gonna take a deep breath in. As we exhale, you're gonna inch your way a little bit deeper into that stretch. It doesn't have to be much. It doesn't have to be far. It could be very, very subtle. Deep breath in. Exhale and come forward just a little bit further. We're gonna do that one last time. Deep breath in. Exhale and a little bit further. Oh, so good. So good. All right, come all the way up. Nice job, take a deep breath in. Exhale when you're ready. Excellent, now we're gonna bring those legs into a butterfly position. And I want you to take your elbows, I'll turn to the front so you can see. You're gonna take your elbows, put them on the inside of your legs and just use them as a gentle guide to push your knees down toward the floor. Important word, hashtag gentle. Gentle. Uh, not hard, easy. Yes, it's an assist, that's a good word. Gentle assist, so we're gently pu pushing down on our legs to get a little bit deeper. You can lean forward with a long spine. You may not go far and that's okay. I don't go far, but it's all good. All right, bring your legs in and together. Nice job, soft knees. This time we're gonna put one hand on the floor. I want you to reach up and over as far as you can. So you're gonna keep your hips Planted, so booties planted, both cheeks stay down. One arm over. I want you to think about pushing in the opposite direction of the stretch. So as our right hand reaches to the left wall, our right hip reaches to the right wall. Opposites. Same thing on the other side. So come up tall, reach over to the wall. Look, we're making poetry and then push your hips in the opposite direction. So you're gluing that left cheek to the floor as we reach with the left hand to the right wall. So good, all the way up. 
Use your hands to help yourself up. So you're just going to bend your legs. You can cross. You can walk forward to that crouch, slowly coming all the way up. Excellent. Once you get up, give me a couple of shoulders back. Just like we started tonight, and a big arm circle all the way around, big stretch. Good. You can do both together. And take a nice deep breath. Inhale. Exhale when you're ready. One more time. Deep breath. Breathing is so good for us. So it's important to take a few deep breaths at the end. And guess what, team? You did it, and we are so proud of you. I encourage you to drink some water, okay? That was a workout, and our muscles crave water, especially after we've just done hard work. So drink some water, and the core is a muscle group that we can work every day, but you, don't, you certainly don't have to work it every day. These on-demand videos are available so you can get your core workout in. We recommend that if you're brand new to core, start with once or twice a week, and if you can work your way up to three good 30-minute core workouts a week, that's ideal. It's a really good place to be because you're working all of your main movers. That's what the core is. Everything you do, if you play tennis, if you swim, if you jog, if you have kids and you're picking them up, if you work at a computer, everything comes from the core. So when you have a strong core, you are setting yourself up for, up for success. Thank you guys so much, and we look forward to seeing you next time.